Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Fabiano Caruana and Emmanuel Berg. This is the game from the Dresden Olympiad that was played in 2008. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with e4. Berg played e6, d4, d5. French defense. Knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, knight to f3, knight from g to f6, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, bishop to d3, c5. All this is the mine line. d takes on c5, bishop takes on c5, queen to e2, Berg castled the kingside and Caruana castled the kingside too. b6 with the obvious idea to fianchetto the bishop to b7. Bishop to g5 pinning the knight. Bishop to b7. Rook from a to d1 lining the rook with black queen and threatening. Bishop takes on h7 check winning the queen. Queen to c7. Knight to e5. Rook from f to d8, king to h1, and black bishop on c5 lost his job. Berg played bishop to e7, rook from d to e1, because in the future white may play f4. h6 attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, knight to d5. Berg would be happy to exchange bishops. Caruana played bishop to g3. If bishop takes on e7, knight takes on e7, and black is okay. So we have bishop to g3, bishop to d6, queen to e4, threatening queen to h7, check. Knight to f6, defending h7 and attacking white queen. Queen to h4, black to move. Black played knight to d7. If rook from a to c8, then white can play f4, perhaps. So we have a knight to d7, and if now f4 is played, then knight to c5 attacking the bishop on d3, and black is okay. White move. Caruana did not play f4. We have reached the most critical position of the game with white move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Did you find the best move? How would you follow up? Ready? Caruana sacrifice the knight on f7. Would you play this too? King takes knight, what else? What now? Why to move? What did Caruana have in mind when he sacrificed the knight on f7? There comes another sacrifice. Rook takes on e6. However, Berg didn't capture the rook. He played knight to c5, attacking the rook and the bishop on d3. What's wrong with king takes rook? If king takes rook, there is a forced checkmate. Let's have a look. If king takes rook, then bishop to c4 check, king to f5, queen to h5 check, g5, queen to f7, knight to f6, Bishop to e6 check, king to e4. What is a gentleman like you doing in a place like this? Queen to g6 check, king to d4. Queen to d3 check, king to c5, and there is checkmate in one. Queen to c4, checkmate. Amazing. Okay, so we have knight to c5. What now? Why to move? What would you do? Caruana sacrificed the exchange. 
Rook takes Rook. Queen to f4 check. King to e7. White move. What would you do? It was the time to involve the last remaining piece in the game. Rook to e1 check. King to d7. Bishop to b5 check. Bishop to c6. Queen to f5 check. Knight to e6. And black is tied up in a knot. White move. What would you do? Caruana captured the rook with bishop on d6. Queen takes bishop. White to move. White. Play the move in black designed. What is the move? This is the move. Rook takes knight on e6. And Berg resigned. Queen to d1 doesn't work because of rook to e1 blocking discovered check on the king. If queen takes on e6, then bishop takes bishop check. And after king to e7, queen takes queen. And after king takes on e6, bishop takes rook. Incredible attack. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.